So it's been 11 years now since I since it all started, and I believe it uh, it helped me to see and witness how the unpopular ideas transform into popular ones. Polykov is is also an extremely rewarding experience to me. It's like an adventure. The organization of Polyphon, um, I've seen that last year and it's this year again. It's very dedicated. Zais and Martina and you and the whole team, you put a lot of effort in it and it's visible. Here in the Polycon, I think many people are digging under the bark of the, of the thing, you know. They are going deeper and uh, solving, uh, thinking about solving the problems, you know. I, I really like the, the single track format. It's nice to have a common topic of conversation unifying things. And, and, and it's a very relaxed, hallway-friendly uh, event. One of the nicest things about having a polyglot conference is that it makes it okay for you to not know about what everyone else is talking. And uh, that kind of amnesty about not knowing things is really, really, really freeing. Uh, so I started programming when I was a third year in university, so I was actually a cognitive science major and for my studies I was required to take a computer science course. I was petrified but it turned out to be super awesome and now I love programming. I started programming my first semester in college. I was a broadcasting major, but I couldn't get into the TV studios in my first year, so I looked for other classes to take. There was a Fortran class in the math department, Wow! and, you know, punch cards and mainframes, and I enjoyed it, I was good at it, and so that kind of took me into a different kind of programming. It's really awesome. People are uh, really excited, inspired, and like, Look at them, they are really enjoying the time and having having fun, actually. I love this uh, mixed crowd coming from all the languages, all the technologies, all the virtual machines. Uh, people who just want to learn from each other and just see what cool things are happening elsewhere outside of their comfort zone. So there's so much knowledge sometimes hidden in different communities, especially the small ones. And when we confront that with what, what's, what's mainstream, uh, interesting things can happen and I would like to see that Polygon somehow is a small brick that helps to do that. <laughs>